Hi everyone, and welcome to our video on finding the exact value of the trigonometric functions given a, another, or just a trigonometric function. So they tell us cotangent of theta equals six fifths and sine of theta is less than zero. So whenever they give you just a random trig function, so if they ever give, so I'm just writing trig generic, so sine, cosine, tangent, whatever it is, if they ever give you trig of any trig function of an angle equal to a number, you can always use Socatella. Okay, so we can also, let's set up our answers over here. So sine of theta equals blank, cosine of theta equals blank, tangent of theta equals blank, and then let's hopefully give ourselves enough room. Cosecant of theta equals blank, secant of theta equals blank, and then cotangent of theta that they gave us positive six over five. So the reason I, I wanted to get this table first is because I can I can do the reciprocal of that six fifths to get tangent. Tangent of theta is five over six. And that way I can use my toa part for Sokotoa. Okay, so let's set up our right triangle, just the generic right triangle where we have the opposite and the adjacent as five over six. Okay, so opposite over adjacent is our tangent uh, function. And then we can see, oh yeah, we can get the, the hypotenuse. So six squared plus five squared is the hypotenuse squared. So we'd have 36 plus 25 is the hypotenuse squared. And then adding these two up is 61. And then we would square root both sides. Again, for good habit, do the plus minus, but I'm gonna choose the positive because I'm looking at this triangle as all, all positive links. Square root of 61 doesn't simplify, so that means this is just the square root of 61. Okay, and we can even label these two if we need to. So there's the op five is opposite, six is adjacent, and then square root of 61 is the hypotenuse. Okay, so there's our right triangle. And so with our right triangle, we can start to fill in those ratios. However, in these problems, they give you one other piece of information you wanna take a look at before we move on. Notice that our cotangent of theta is positive. So six over five is a positive number. So, so tangent is also positive. They're saying sine of theta is negative. So less than zero means that sine of theta is negative. So they're telling us what quadrant we're in based on this information. Okay, so if cotangent of theta is positive, that must mean I'm either in quadrant one or quadrant three. Okay, so that's that part. I'm gonna do kind of just marking it with that slant. Where this is happening, I'm gonna do that slant in my picture. Where sine of theta is negative, so remember those are the y coordinates, where y is negative is below the x axis. So it'd be those two quadrants. And so anyway, we could see, yeah, where they're overlapping is the quadrant that we're in. So we are in quadrant three. So I'm gonna put that right there, quadrant three. Okay, the other way we could have looked at it, since we know sine of theta is negative and cotangent or tangent is positive already, we know that tangent is sine of theta over cosine of theta. So if sine of theta is already negative, we would need to divide by another negative to make tangent positive. So just thinking about the signs like that can help figure out what those uh, signs will be for all the trig functions. Okay, anyway, so now that we know the quadrant and we have our triangle, we'll use Sokotoa to finish this off. So sine of theta is opposite. So I'm using an opposite over hypotenuse, which is five over square root of 61. And then we say, oh, make sure negative, there we go. And then we'll just rationalize the denominator. So they usually like to do that. So square root of 61 multiplies both the top and bottom. There we go, negative five square root 61 over 61. And then cosine of theta is our adjacent. Okay, so now I'm doing the cosine, which is adjacent over the hypotenuse. But again, I see, oh, make sure it's negative. There we go, negative. And then like above, we would rationalize it. I'm gonna skip showing that step. That would give us negative six radical 61 over 61. 
and then tangent we already had, cotangent we already had. Okay, and then to get our cosecant and secant of theta, um, what I would do is flip our sine and cosine answers, but I would flip these ones. Okay, so because the other ones that are already boxed would require a little bit extra work to continue uh, to simplify. So the one that I starred is easier to flip. So negative square root 61 over 5 is cosecant of theta. And then let's flip negative square root of 61 over 6 for the secant. There we are. There they all are. Okay, so that's how we find the exact values. Um, this is common. Again, we might have seen this in a different video already. Um, so this might have been review, but it's it's good review. So it's pretty, it's very common. So we do this a lot. Okay, anyway, so if you do have other questions, yeah, there are other videos that, that kind of cover this, but um, feel free to send me an email. Let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.